It's been 23 years now that we had the stunning realization that America had lost nearly 3,000 people to a terror attack on our own soil. The World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, all hit by hijacked planes. There were services around the country and here in the mid-state. Dennis Owens reports from Cumberland County. God bless America. Matthew Robinson is a baritone, but on this day, more importantly, an American. And we all know where we were on 9 11. You know, it's a cliche, but never forget. Matthew's gift is his voice that he freely shares at this annual 9 11 remembrance. Being able to uh, give back to the community and to remember th these solemn events is very important to me. And programs like this Flags for Heroes event in the West Shore Theater are must attend for State Representative Cheryl Delosier. We need to remember those that we lost. We need to uh, thank those that uh, responded that day. Those alive can never forget the shock that sprung from a beautiful day. But shockingly, there are now college graduates who were not yet born. My son is 23 years old, and uh, he was three months old at the time of 9-11. And we have to continually have this conversation with folks that were not here and remind them how important that day was. This Flags for Heroes display in Cumberland County are a reminder, each one representing a hero among us, a West Shore Rotary Club project to spotlight lots of good deeds being done by lots of good people. But heroes come in all shapes, sizes, genders. It's somebody that has impacted your life. It could be a parent, a teacher, uh, a pastor, uh, people that come from all walks of life. A so we, A coach is, is a very good example. Understandably, 9-11 is about remembering those we lost. But it's also important to remember those that we still have. We need to continually thank those that are serving now in our military and in our first responders. And the real message of this service, we all can be heroes in our own lives. We all can be. The question, will we be? In New Cumberland, I'm Dennis Owens.